Hi everyone and welcome back to our next episode of our Which Way Now Careers Service interviews. I'm joined here today by a very special guest. I'm here with Chris. Hi Chris, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Harry, my name is Chris Collin. I was born in Gravesend. I went to school in Painters Ash Primary School uh, before going to what was then Northfleet School for Boys. And it's now known as Northfleet Technology College. Uh, and I'm a senior electronics engineer and I currently work in the UK space industry. I'm responsible for the design and development of uh, what we call as Earth observation payloads for space missions. There's been a number of missions I've been involved with. Um, you can find them on the BBC News websites and so forth. But what it actually means is that I design the electronics necessary to take pictures or videos uh, of the Earth from space. Well, as with all engineering roles, uh, engineers generally enjoy solving problems. And, uh, and from my perspective, because I'm a, a product designer, you now I'd say I design electronics uh, to make a, a product of some description. I enjoy, if you like, taking an idea, using one, your own imagination, your own experience to solve other people's problems. We'll have customers that come to us and say they want to be able to take photos from space of the earth for particular reasons. And I will sit down with a pen and paper um, or, a, or a PC or whatever, and uh, design the electronics necessary to fulfill that, that function. And then we build it, design it, build it, and test it, deliver it, and uh, we get some great pictures out of it. I took a, a quite a different route into engineering. There are many different routes of engineering to get into, involved into an engineering career. I left school at 16 um, and went into a, an apprenticeship that involved day release to college to study BTEC National, BTEC Higher National and Electronics Engineering. And then several years later, I went on and did a, a master's degree um, in electronic uh, product development. So I took very much all the classes as a vocational route through the apprenticeship route. Um, but equally, you can get into engineering if you want to take the A-level and undergraduate degree routes as well. I mean, both are valid and both will provide you with a, an opportunity to move into an engineering career. Gosh, that's a question, isn't it? Um, I, to be honest, I can't say I have one particular achievement. But what I would say is that you get a great amount of satisfaction from seeing a product that you've designed being used. Seeing images like the role I'm doing at the moment, you know, seeing images taken from space that are perhaps used to help countries respond to natural disasters like tsunamis and things like that, or a research project like the image in my background here. And it was very simple design just to see whether the, the engineering of electronics would survive the, the radiation environment that we see in space. I would say that engineering as a career is accessible to everyone. And it, and it really doesn't matter if you're male or female, what cultural background you come from or how academic you are or think you are. There's always something or, or I, a route into an engineering career in some description. Um, all I would say is that, you know, providing you're passionate about becoming an engineer, that you're interested in solving complex problems for ultimately to benefit people's lives. And of course, um, there are many fields and applications within engineering. You know, we can, uh, there's electronics engineering, there's electrical, mechanical, software, um, uh, me chemical, civil, you can move into robotics, medical, uh, aerospace, rail, automotive, you know, the list goes on and on. So really, there is, there is really something for everyone. I think considering the, um, the current situation at the time and where we are in the space industry, I think all of I would like to visit Mars, I think, because that's where we're at the moment. And there's, there's quite a bit of interesting work going on there. You know, discovery of water and, and the possibility of, of uh, 
taking civilization to Mars. So that would be, I think that would be kind of cool. And you never know, it might even, even though I, I, I've got these, these graying beards and getting old, it might still be within my lifetime. Oh, that's such an incredible answer, Chris. And as you said, so many more discoveries to come, I'm sure. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us today for this interview. It's been a pleasure. And Likewise. thank you for sharing story with us it's been absolutely fantastic Great. so we hope you all enjoyed our interview today stay tuned next week as a new one will be here then